In this demo video, I'll be constructing a finite extensional model that is abstract. The goal of this model will be to demonstrate that this set of sentences is consistent. So here's a set of sentences, sentence one, two, and three. And you should remember from uh, your semantical properties that for this to be consistent, what this really means is that all sentences need to be true at the same time. So I want to create a model that demonstrates that all these things are true at the exact same time. So what does the first sentence here mean? There exists an x for all y, uh, fx, and lxy. Uh, well, the first thing is we should note that we know quantifier order means that this f here, this x, is something specific. Uh, and so this lxy says some specific f l's everything. Okay, so some specific f l's everything. Uh, if you don't like l's, you can write uh, stands in the L relation to, that's also okay, but I just find that, oh, you know, too wordy. This translation is really just for us so that we can get a bit of information so that we can generate the model. And as I'll show you at the end, you just need the model. You don't really need to translate every sentence if it's really obvious to you. Okay, so if we look at the second sentence, uh, this says, for all x, g, x, arrow, there exists a y, negation, l, x, y. What does this mean? Well, again, the way that we learn to translate this is not to read it left to right. If you read it left to right, sometimes you just sort of get into bog down with the actual notation. What this really says is negation, l, x, y. Negation, l, x, y. Uh, so what's x? All g's. And what's y? Well, something, and it's undefined. So if it's undefined, we don't worry about it. It's not a Y. It's not something that's like a G or anything like that. It just means something. So something in our universe. So to translate this, this now means uh, all G's, or every G, uh, does not L something. Okay, all G's does not L something, or doesn't L something, or don't L something. I'm not really too concerned here about like basic grammar. Now, another way to say this is to say like every G has something it doesn't L. And so that's also perfectly fine. For the third sentence, I have this negation. Uh, well, this negation is sort of weird. If I tried to translate this, I would get something like, it's not the case that, okay, so I would say, the LXX is uh, anything that X themselves, then doesn't a G. So I would say something like, it's not the case that uh, everything that L's itself isn't a G. Now, that's okay, but really, we can do better. Uh, and the way to do better is to sort of look at this and do a mini pseudo derivation on it. Now, what I mean by a pseudo derivation is I'm not actually going to uh, worry about my derivation rules, coding it, and I can cheat in ways that I wasn't actually originally allowed to cheat in a derivation. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to put this in a nicer form. The first thing I'm going to do is quantify or negate this. So when I quantify or negate it, it's just this uh, L X X arrow negation GX. Now, according to derivation rules, I could not now negation of conditional, but I'm not doing a formal derivation. This is informal. So I'm just going to negation of conditional this. And this says LXX. The negation of a conditional means the antecedent is true, but the consequent is false. But of course, for this to be false, it just means that it's true. So I'm sneaking in a little double negation there. And that's fine. So it turns out that these two sentences are equivalent. So when I go back to my translation, I don't want to use it's not the case that everything that else itself is in the G. I'm just going to say something else itself and is a G. And this is far easier to work with. So what I need is I need to build out a model with a universe of discourse. And I don't know how big it's going to be. Uh, I need my F1 predicate and I need my G1 predicate and I need my uh, L2 predicate. And this is what my actual answer is going to look like. So I have these nice colons. I open the set bracket for each one. And I'm ready to write. Now, what I would typically recommend is we start with the universe of discourse of two elements, 0 and 1. Uh, again, you don't need to use 0 and 1. You could use circle square or whatever. 
Uh, why two? Well, because two is a nice place to start. If it turns out you don't need both things, you could just get rid of one of them. And if it turns out that uh, you want um, uh, more things, you just add. So notice that I'm not closing the set bracket off because I don't know uh, if I need to add more things. Now, where do we start? The easiest places to start are wherever we invoke some sort of uh, existential. These are the easiest places to start because they tell you something clear and concrete. Some specific f l's everything. Okay, well, what do you want this specific f to be? It doesn't matter. It just needs to be in the universe of discourse. It could be zero, it could be one. If you wanted to add two, it could be two. So I'm just arbitrarily gonna make it zero. I'm gonna pick, pick, pick a little note up here so I remember that my specific f is actually the zero. And how do I make the first sentence true? Some specific f l's everything. That means zero has to l itself and zero has to L one. Why? Because those are everything in my universe of discourse. If I added two here, then I would have to add zero comma two here, uh, and so on, to make sure that this first premise is true. The next easiest thing to start with is the something else itself and is a G. Well, this is pretty nice. Something does L itself here, zero, zero. So I can just say, okay, fine, make that thing a G. And I'll make a little note here that this something is also a zero because that was sort of just rendered true uh, out of my L2. Check. So now I just need to focus on my second sentence. All G does not L something or every G has something it doesn't L. Now, is that true right now or is it false? Okay, well, if I look at this right now, here's my G. So I have something that's a G and it's not, it's not supposed to L something. But the problem is right now, zero, L0, 0, zero L1. So here my G is in the L relation to everything. So right now this is actually a uh, false and that's a problem. Okay, so I don't want it to be false. How do I fix it? Well, one way you might think to fix it is you might think, okay, well, I'll just uh, add something here too. And if I add something here, now this works out. Zero is not Ling two thumbs up. This is good. Except the problem with making this good is I have now made premise one or sentence one false because some specific f has to l everything. Okay, well then I would add zero two, but now you should see the problem. Adding zero two here again makes sentence two false, and we're sort of just moving in circles. So I don't want to do any of those things. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. I'm going to erase my zero there. And I'm going to say, I think the problem was that I set my both somethings as the same. So what I'll do is I'll change this to one. And so if I want this something to be the G to be one, it has to L itself, which means that one, one now must be here. So how did I do? Premise one or sentence one is still true. Some specific F zero L's everything. Sentence three is true. Something one L's itself and is a G. Perfect. And sentence two says, all G's does not L something. Well, that's really good because right now my G, which is one, doesn't stand in the L relation to zero because this doesn't appear, right? This isn't here, so that's good. I have made this true. And now that I've made all the sentences true, I just close all the set brackets and I'm done. Uh, so in actuality, the final answer here is just uh, this model at the bottom. So all you really would need to provide is a model like this. How many answers are there? Uh, well, there's actually infinitely many answers to a question like this. Uh, so as long as you provide a correct model, it's fine. And you could see one trivial way I could make a different model is I could swap F and G here. F could be one and G could be zero and that could be fine.